Art Month came at the right time. It was a very simple idea. It's about a bunch of really creative people who work with creative people and what they can do collectively. I think art um, adds substance to not only our lives but also our environments, our homes. I find that uh, walking into a house where there's not just one painting but there's lots of little pictures to me creates a, a backdrop of experiences. You know, I think that, that galleries are, are a function of, of individuals' enthusiasms. Uh, I think that people who come to the gallery on a regular basis begin to sense that there's a, you know, if not a logic, there's something in play that connects the, the artists that we work with. Our main aim is to showcase emerging Australian artists. Um, we've started out three and a half years ago doing that and we've managed to present and launch a number of Australian artists. If you are coming to the gallery, you're, you're probably looking for you know, people who have just come out of art school and show an amazing amount of potential. So Chalk Horse is sort of, it was started by a group of friends. It was started as a collective and we sort of were dealing with artists and it was for artists by artists. Like, it's just amazing. In the last five years, it just seems to have grown and grown and all of a sudden we have a sort of serious gallery on our hands and it's sort of a bit surprising, really. With this gallery, I want it to really be a place where people get the ultimate art experience. It's a place which, the gallery that has a depth by which people come here and they feel like they want to stay and um, it's like a little form of escapism. I would like to think that it's a place where people can come and talk. I'm always up for it, <laughs> you know, shutting me up is more of the challenge. This gallery, we have a big advisory service, we have a big secondary market um, trading. This is more of a kind of an arts hub, I suppose, um, and we run out of a four-storey uh, house in Elizabeth Bay. What I really like are the days here when we just laugh, and we do. We can have some, we enjoy our own company a lot. Yeah, during Art Month, we are thrilled to be uh, presenting the, the work of celebrated sculptor Amer American Fred Sandback. This will be our third Art Month, which I'm really excited about. We're presenting one of our most popular artists, Hugh Ford. It'll be Hugh's fourth show with the galleries. And in 2012, we'll be showing um, a number of contemporary artists. Mark Blake starts with March. So we'll have an education program and an exhibition program running concurrently. I'm sure Art Month will provide a map to show you where everything is. So you could go to five galleries all in the, you know, within two hours or one hour. Um, and I think there is a lot of interesting work happening. If the gallery can become one small part of that mechanism that uh, helps sustain the visual arts culture, then, you know, that seems like a really important aspiration for me personally. And, uh, you know, I, I'm blessed to work with remarkable people.